Hey guys, I'm Maniac. And I'm Pineapple. And today we're doing a comparison of GTA and Saints Row to see the similarities and the differences. And whenever you might hear somebody talking about the similarities and differences between the two, everybody says, like, the customization is way better in Saints Row. And I'm talking about the customization of the characters' weapons and cars and the customization for the characters right from the get-go. You can customize the hair, the tops, the bottoms, the shoes, the hands, tattoos, piercings, and face paint. Then whenever you get into the game, you can actually change the gender of the person you created from girl to boy, or just literally make them skinny, fat, whenever you're in the game without restarting the new character. And the customization of the weapons are very similar but different in the same way because you can customize the skins of the weapons and you can upgrade the firepower and the fire rate and accuracy but you don't have the type of customization for the weapons as you do in GTA. You can customize the dual pistol so you have dual nail guns. So it's very different but you know similar in the same way. And the customization for the cars is way better. It's more expansive because you can steal any car and bring it in and it's yours. Like a top of the line Ferrari or Lamborghini and it's yours. And then for the customization, uh, you can change the size of the tires, the rims, the you have a spoiler, side skirts, bumper, front bumper, hoods, you have different types of paint, matte, pearlescent, metallic, flat, and carbon fiber also. You have like 20 different decals, so, and I can go on and on all day talking about the customization for the cars, but I'm not. So I'll throw it over to Pineapple to talk about the customization for GTA. All right, fantastic. Just like Maniac said, you do not have nearly as much customization for your character as you do in Saints Row. But in GTA, in order for you to go from a male character to a female character, you actually have to start an entirely new character and start from scratch again. But you still have the options of all kinds of different bodily tattoos. You have a crazy amount of clothing options. You also have a mid-range selection of accessories. Now, for the weapon customization, it is a little bit more extensive in GTA than it is in Saints Row, but you're not really able to upgrade the firepower necessarily for each individual weapon. There are certain weapons where you could take to a weapon mod shop and actually upgrade it from the Mark 1 version to a Mark 2 version, but as far as the weapon customization, you can add different attachments like a different sight or a suppressor or a muzzle brake and or a grip and flashlight, and you also have different cameras you can choose to put onto each weapon, such as you know three different color variances of army camo. And then for the car customization, I believe the car customization isn't nearly as extensive as Saints Row, but each vehicle you want to customize has different options from the next one. So not every single vehicle is going to have the same amount of customization options. So that definitely gives each car its own feel and vibe, essentially. And on that note, I will go ahead, pass it over to Maniac for number two. All right, thank you. And number two is the free roam aspect in the campaign. And the free roam aspect is basically the same for both games, except, you know, the map on GTA is obviously larger. And the campaign on Saints Row, you can do two-player co-op, and you can't do that for GTA. And the side missions is pretty much the big difference, because you can do insurance fraud, and you can do the Professor Genki fun shit on the side and then you have mayhem and all of that that you can just do for fun and then like I said the big difference is that you actually have two player co-op campaign and you whenever you want to do two player co-op campaign and you start the mission that you need to have the other person the other player agree to doing that actual mission or else you can't start it and that's the differences and similarities between the two and I will pass it over to Pineapple to talk about the GTA side.
Fantastic. Thank you, sir. In GTA, you have campaign and online. The biggest difference is that in the campaign, it is completely single player. So you can't have anybody help you besides AI characters. And you're limited in the things that you can actually do in the campaign. Whereas in the online version, you're able to free roam, do whatever you want. Or you could do side jobs and or activities by yourself or with other people if you so choose and those other people could be your friends or just random people that you meet on gta and you have a wide variety of different jobs and missions and side jobs that you could do while online so that is a huge difference between those two games and on that note i'll go ahead and pass it back over to maniac for the next topic all right thank you and number three is the carjacking and car options. I think we talked about the options of the cars, but um, yes, the carjacking on Saints Row is similar and a little bit different from GTA. You can obviously, you know, take a steal a car from the driver's side, from the passenger side, and like you just punch or yank the character out of the car and get in the driver's side. And you have the option the GTA doesn't of running and jumping through the windshield to knock the person out of the car. And then the car options are there's obviously more land vehicles you know cars trucks you know semis that you can drive and you have boats and airplanes but the big difference is that you can also car serve on saints row you can't on gta like it actually gives you an option to press y to car surf on top of a car so that's the big difference between the two games and i'll pass it over to pineapple to talk about the gta side again Fantastic. You can obviously carjack any car you want in GTA, but the biggest difference is the way you do it. You're not able to just press Y. You have to actually be beside the driver's side or the passenger side door in order to actually carjack them. Whereas in Saints Row, you can actually be a little further away, like he said, and run and jump through the front windshield. I wish you had that option. That would be amazing. As far as car surfing goes, like Maniac said, you really can't do it necessarily. I mean, you can jump onto a car, but the first time that that character speeds off or makes a sh turn too sharp or hits something, you're flying off the car like a ragdoll. And then the car options, you have a much wider range of land vehicles, air vehicles, and sea vehicles to choose from compared to San Trail. But on that note, let's go ahead and jump to number four. All right, thank you. And I will talk about the property management and the currency management. And the property management on Saints Row isn't as extensive as GTA, and neither is the currency management. But the property management is pretty much whenever you do a mission in another gang's territory, is that you claim that territory on your own, and it's not purple in the first place, and then it goes to purple once the mission is complete, and you begin to to earn money on Saints Row that way. And whenever you go to your phone, you can claim the money catch of the like the money that you earned. And the money management isn't as extensive because you can basically, if you own other gangs' territory, that you can stand there and just accumulate money over time, and then you know claim it in your phone, like I just said. But I'll pass it over to Pineapple to talk about the GTA side of it. Fantastic. In GTA, you have way more options for property management. Quick example, you can buy an underground bunker, a CEO business, a motorcycle club, a hangar. The money management, in my opinion, it's much harder for you to make money in GTA than it is in Saints Row. Because as Maniac has stated, in Saints Row, you could just stand there and accumulate money over time. Whereas in Grand Theft Auto, you have to continuously do different activities and or keep supplying your businesses so that they can keep making you products so you can sell that product and make your money. And another big thing that Saints Row doesn't have that GTA 5 does have, and I believe it's kind of a downfall, is microtransactions. You can actually buy, with real money, GTA money, which is kind of a downfall, and that's why it's kind of hard for you to actually make good amounts of cash in GTA compared to Saints Row. And on that note, we're going to go ahead to number five. All right, thank you again. 
And number five is the last similarity and difference is the phone options. And on your phone is basically the whole in-game menu on Saints Row. And you can bring up the map. You can bring up your abilities, your gang abilities, the car delivery, your homie delivery is like another saint to help you out. And then you have your money catch in there. And for Saints Row 4, you have the power-up menu things that you claim to level up your powers but yeah so you can call in basically a whole entire squad of people and then you have two other slots for two other people you can call in a bionic suit which is pretty cool but i'll throw it over to pineapple to talk about gta side of things Thank you. Now, the phone options in GTA isn't as nearly extensive as the options that you get in Saints Row. For example, you can't access your map from the phone. You actually have to press the start menu, press A once you start up the start menu and there's your map. But what you can do with the phone is you can access your phone contacts and it's going to vary from the campaign to online. So in the campaign, you will have all the different people that you interact with and meet throughout the story missions in your phone contact list. Whereas in online, you'll only have like a dozen of those people that you can actually contact and you'll also see if there's anybody in your lobby you'll see other players that you can invite to games or activities or invite to your apartment or what have you you can also manage your money to a certain extent through your phone and you can also call in reinforcements from like mayweather but i mean other than that there's not a whole lot more you can do with your phone other than accessing the internet and or starting up your ceo business through your phone all right and that should wrap up the video hope you guys enjoyed this comparison of gta and saints row and that you guys would stay tuned for our other videos and or you can click the two links above us one of them are going to be accidental happenings of resident evil 6 so it's funny please check it out we are also live streaming every other sunday so i'm maniac and i'm pineapple and together we are the tasmanian knights please like comment and if you haven't go ahead and subscribe and hit the little bell notification so you get all the notifications when we post stuff on our youtube channel also you can become a patron by visiting our patreon channel which is featured in the description down below and also in the description down below is a link to our facebook page where you can check out all of the uncut videos catch, catch you next time, time.